It's not through here. Oh, wait, wait, where are we going? Oh, we can't get out. I have it closed. Oh, it's the other way. <laughs> My name's Lisa Love. I've been the sous chef at restaurant Relay here in Copenhagen for the past five years. Since then, I've been working on opening my own restaurant called Tiger Mom. So today, I've had the opportunity to fly Ryan uh, over here from London. I would say Ryan's one of the best bartenders in the world. He's had two bars that have been on the world's 50 best bars list. And it's a huge privilege to work together with such, uh, such bar professionals to put the cocktail program together. Uh, so I'm really excited to collaborate with him and share ideas and create something new and interesting uh, for, for the restaurant. So today I'm going to show you Tiger Mom so you can see uh, the space and I can show you around yeah. um, where I plan on having the seating and the bar and, and the kitchen and so on. There's not much, yeah, it's still uh, very much a construction site. <laughs> I think we've still got quite a long way to go with it, but I'm really excited to see the final result. So now we go up. Check out the view. All right, are you ready for a ride in the Christiania bike? <laughs> yeah. It's a cargo bike, uh, very typical of uh, Copenhagen. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> it was Ryan's first time in the Christiania bike, and I think he really enjoyed himself. We took a ride to the Assistance Cemetery, which is uh, it's a historical cemetery. I was a little bit creeped out by the fact that people hung out in a cemetery in Copenhagen, but after being here for some time, I realized it's just normal. Like, people treat it like a park. Yeah. You want to get on the school bus? <laughs> 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 and it is just really beautiful. See, don't you get this Narnia vibe? Narnia. 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 Why I wanted to take Ryan there is because I have so many memories associated with the cemetery, and I kind of wanted to share my stories with him and show him how non-creepy a cemetery could be. <laughs> There's no man on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> so usually at night, the cemetery gets locked down, but we found a way that you could get in. So this is the gate. So I showed Ryan my, my secret spot for sneaking in, and <laughs> he didn't want to do it. <laughs> Can I not just go that way? <laughs> We rode the bike back up Jersbogel and we went to pick up mushrooms from the mushroom guys on the, on the street. So these guys are doing a great project where they're collecting organic um, used coffee grounds from different areas in the city and they're, they bring it to a shipping container to grow oyster mushrooms on them. These are the mushrooms. Uh, we took the mushrooms to the food lab and uh, started cooking. The food lab is um, it's a kitchen where, that we use for experimenting and creating new dishes and trying out new ideas. The dish I made is based on Danish blue mussels cooked in a smoked coconut cream and then tossed with a bunch of different kinds of fresh herbs seasoned with fish sauce and lemon juice and it's got a little bit of chili as well. Ryan made a cocktail based on his own gin and a, a vermouth made from a Danish cider which had been infused with uh, all different kinds of fresh herbs to play with the, the fattiness of the coconut cream. Mm. Missed it. <laughs> I think Ryan had a good time. You want some favor? <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to catching up with him again, either in London or here again when I'm open. <laughs> <laughs>